domestic violence, which is dating violence, can affect, does affect everyone's life. It's happening on this campus. It's happening in their lives. They have friends, family members, co-workers, because all of these relationships aren't guns and blood. It can be mental and psychological abuse. And if it is physical abuse, we assume we're going to see it. We're not going to see it. Tonight's event is um, a movie night, and it's sponsored by the Social Work Department and SAVE, and it's called um, A Death of a Bride. Gladys, she was t with this guy. Like he, he was actually like really trying to be like really dominant too, like really aggressive. She got with another guy. They got engaged, and on her wedding day, her ex actually came to her house and shot her. They had evidence, and they weren't trying to show the evidence, which like made me like kind of like confused, angry. So he was abusing her in the relationship. She was getting married and everything was um, filmed because it was her wedding day. And so he came in when he wasn't supposed to be there. He wasn't welcome with the family or the friends. And, and all you hear is gunshot. She was killed right away. Wired her three right here. And when they did the recreation and pulled her back up, the other two were like here, right by her head. So he knew what he was doing. He knew what he planned. This isn't just women, because there are female abusers out there. And female abusers can sometimes be a little bit more tricky. And the thing about male victims, or who are they gonna tell? Because people will tend not to believe them. Oftentimes, um, men are, are not believed. Uh, and they don't come forward because they don't believe they're going to be believed. Men are abused, you know, in other ways much more by women. Women, I think, are much more abused physically than men. Um, but it happens to both. Uh, and it has to do with our gender roles. My son, Mark, was a 26-year-old police officer and a volunteer firefighter, um, and he was killed by his girlfriend. It's easy to stand by and look into a situation and say what you would do. It's totally different when you're in a situation, right? And for somebody who is in an abusive relationship and they're going through this cycle of violence, there's so much going on for that person. Um, and just because they stay in a relationship doesn't mean that they're weak. Um, I have had a range of emotions, including guilt, including anger, including disbelief, always wondering why this happened, what, what the message is in all of this. Mark was not somebody who couldn't take care of himself necessarily or was afraid of anybody. Mark would run into burning buildings. Mark would run to help those in need. But men can also be victims of domestic violence, even if they are the helpers themselves. I just hope that all who see the documentary will be touched and will learn something and will decide to answer the call to service just as my son did.